Your good friend Yanis Varoufakis, when he was then the Greek finance minister, Greece was uh, teetering on the brink, and he was sitting with uh, Larry Summers, no less, uh, in Washington. Mm. And Larry Summers said to him, Yanis, what you've got to understand is there are two types of people in this world, insiders and outsiders. If you're an insider, you get a seat at the table. If you're an outsider, you don't get a seat at the table. My suggestion mm. to you is you become an insider. And there's only one rule about insiders, it's we never criticize another insider. You're trying to reform economics for, as an outsider. I doubt mm. very much that you get a seat at the table, certainly not in Washington, certainly not in the moment with the prevailing uh, economic thinking that's going on. How difficult is it to uh, reform this discipline as an outsider? Frankly, I think it's impossible. I'm, I'm conceding defeat on that front. Uh, I don't think you reform it, I think you abolish it. And on that front, what I'm trying to do as well is to work with scientists and say, look, you guys, have, by professional courtesy, you haven't criticised economists uh, in your work. Uh, you know, you, you basically think that economists do their work as well as physicists or chemists or engineers do their work. You're wrong. Uh, they are pr a pre-scientific discipline. They are working from the great books, though the, the author is not Aristotle. In this case, it's Paul Samuelson. Uh, Who, incidentally, and, uh, was mm -hmm. Larry Summers' uh, uncle. Yeah, I could hold that against him as well. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you've, you've got a, a great book sort of attitude. Um, you don't rock the boat, don't criticise internally, et cetera, et cetera. And yet they maintain a vision of the economy, which is about as accurate as Ptolemy's model of the, of the uh, universe was. Now, that model, with very intricate, complicated mathematical models, could easily predict where the planets were going to be in two or three hundred years, was completely strong about the structure of the solar system. Um, so you, you, you have to have a, a paradigm shift, a revolution. Uh, and that often does come from outsiders. When you look at the, the work of Thomas Kuhn on the, what he called the structure of scientific revolutions, he said you get a, an anomaly which, which the uh, dominant paradigm can't explain, struggles over indefinitely, and finally a new paradigm comes along and replaces it. And often that comes from outside the discipline. So I'm hoping to elevate the importance of system dynamics, which is an alternative intellectual uh, paradigm that knows that mainstream economics is wrong. And I'm trying to persuade, persuade physicists and engineers to get in there as well and basically boot the economists out of the universities.